Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson, Peterson Electric. Going to talk to you today about inter-system bonding bridge bar, Article 250.94. Um, a 250.94a talks about how to ground in a home. Uh, section B, exception one, talks about if you had a disconnect, for instance, on a pole for your utilities. Uh, this states it has to be near the first part of the disconnect or the service of the um, the property in a residential situation. This would not really include putting it on a pole because it's unlikely you're going to use it for utilities. But if you're going to use a disconnect for an RV pedestal, then you're probably going to have a satellite hookup or a dish, so you're going to need one of these. Real simple to install. I'll show you how to do it. This is an original home from, I don't know, 1990 or 94. Um, painters like to paint everything, so just clean all that crap off. Find your ground rod. How's your rod right here? See how it's clamped? Go ahead and choke that. Go ahead and screw it in. Two deck screws. That's all we're really required to do, but I'll actually go ahead since I know it's right here. Connect that. Well, look at that line. Huh. Didn't even go anywhere with these guys. We'll go ahead and try to see if we can find a ground in there. Strip that off. Go ahead and come down on the video here. Go ahead and bond it right under here. Typically you have to have a number 10 to bond it. This is a six gauge coming in. Throw this on right here. This is also a good uh, device to use for if you're grounding in a home in a crawl space or an attic and you are trying to establish grounds in a few plugs and outlets or lights, you can use that as a nice junction point through the attic and crawl space, these intersisting bonding bridge bars. They're not done just for the purpose of just those guys to ground. And so that'll bond right there then right here you'll come in here and really that's all i have to do legally to code um but this is where they're supposed to bond it which these guys have a ground that's going right here so we're getting a little redundant so what we're gonna do is just get rid of this guy and it doesn't do any good unless you have a clean connection Otherwise, you're just insulating the item. You really want this there also because of a lightning strike. And then this will just coil up inside of here, and that'll shut. And that basically gives your ground to here, your ground to your ground rod, and that number six back up to your panel. Thanks, guys.